Richmond Heights is a well-known historic neighborhood in Miami. But who were the original residents and how was the community founded? Local 10 News reporter Constance Jones breaks it down for us. Take a look back in time. It's the 1940s. Military veterans were returning home from World War II. But in South Florida, there were few affordable housing options for African Americans. But one man, Captain Frank C. Martin, saw an opportunity. He did something that he felt that was necessary and to him, I take my hat off. Patricia Harper Garrett is one of the pioneers in Miami's Richmond Heights neighborhood. The cherry heads, just, there was a divider between the houses. People took pride in their lawns. Which right between Southwest 136 and 152nd streets, the neighborhood has not changed much. We had everything we wanted here. We had all of our doctors. And Captain Martin made sure all of these things were in our neighborhood including the ice cream man who's been here for decades and to serve as a reminder to everyone in this community this monument was built to pay tribute to the pioneers here in richmond heights part of that rich history stands here at the second baptist church the multi-generational that are here in the church there are like four generations in the same worship service together. This neighborhood became a tool for social change leading all the way to the White House. With help from President Harry Truman, the FHA mortgage program opened its doors to black war veterans for the first time, creating a community of homeowners who helped establish Miami into the thriving city it is today. It's the um, atmosphere here. Everyone feels like they are part of the community. Constance Jones, Local 10 News.